Days of Our Lives Thursday, September 19 Recap Clyde's Demera Fortune Goal Mark and Abby's Mother Threatened Days of Our Lives D-O-O-L-L Spoilers Recap for Thursday, September 19 Reveals that Shane Donovan, Charles Shaughnessy, pulled some strings with the warden for Steve Johnson, Stephen Nichols, who scored a visit with Clyde Weston, James Reed, in Supermax. Steve suggested his gut was telling him things didn't add up and that Abigail DeMera, Anna Lynn McCord, could be an imposter, but Clyde played dumb. After Steve brought up John Black, Drake Hodgston, being held captive in Poplar Bluff, he questioned how that kidnapping was connected to Abigail. However, Steve didn't buy any of the stories Clyde tried to spin. Clyde eventually cut the visit short since it was lunchtime, but Steve said he'd be back. At the hospital on Thursday's day's episode, Abigail took a risk by meeting with Mark Green, Jonah Robinson, in a private exam room to show him Clyde's text. Mark insisted Abigail had to do what Clyde said and marry Chad Demera, Billy Flynn, ASAP. After Mark pointed out that what they were doing affected Aaron Green, Louis Tomio, and Felicity Green, Kennedy Garcia, too, Abigail acknowledged that he was right and that she had to start remembering more. Mark said he'd handle Clyde and headed off for a prison visit soon after. Since Steve was leaving, Mark caught a glimpse of him before he posed as Clyde's attorney and met with him next. Mark pushed Clyde to stop pressuring his sister, but Clyde reminded him of what was at stake. If Mark and Abigail didn't get Clyde the Demera fortune, then they'd never see their sweet mama alive again. In the Demera secret room, Connie Vinisky, Julie Dove, left to gather some supplies, so Gabby compared notes with Melinda Trask, Tina Huang. Gabby and Melinda were both still tied to their chairs as Gabby tried to scotch her way over to her phone. At the bistro on Thursday's day's episode, E.J. Demera, Dan Fuerigal, eventually admitted to Stefan Demera, Brandon Barish, that he didn't sleep with Gabby this morning, but he also didn't exactly call Gabby a liar. That left Stefan thinking EJ was just telling him what he wanted to hear to avoid baby snatching backlash. After EJ took off, he left Gabby a voicemail to explain the situation and suggested they needed to get their stories straight from now on. Back with Stefan on Thursday's DOLO show, he urged Ava Vitali, Tamara Braun, to sleep with him again to help even the score. Ava was so insulted that she decided not to take Stefan's pity job after all. Since a friend wouldn't try to use her like this, Ava made it clear that Stefan wasn't one and stormed out. In the park on Thursday's day's episode, Kristen Demera, Stacy Hayduck, once again shared doubts about whether Abigail was the real deal. Chad rushed to Abby's defense and made predictions about her remembering more. Kristen crossed paths with Connie next and argued with her about writing Stefan out for cheating on Gabby. Once Connie walked away, Chad returned from nearby and shocked Kristen with the news of the APB out on Gabby's assistant. Connie ultimately returned to the secret room, where she snatched up the phone that Gabby had been unable to get to. Gabby and Melinda begged Connie not to do this, but she ultimately left them with a bomb counting down to their destruction. In the Demera living room, EJ found the fireplace poker that Connie had whacked Gabby with and wondered if that was blood on it. At the Horton house, Abigail looked over a paper with some notes on it as she practiced the fake memory she was about to give Chad. When Chad appeared, Abigail hid the paper and excitedly let him know that she remembered something else. Days of Our Lives spoilers say Abigail will keep working to sell Chad on her phony story, so stay tuned for updates on her tactics. In the dramatic heart of Salem, tensions escalated as Clyde Weston set his sights on the illustrious Tamara Fortune. With a glint of determination in his eye, Clyde has been quietly weaving a web of influence, aiming to claim a piece of the Demera empire that has long eluded him. Conversations buzzed in the shadows of the Demera mansion, where Clyde's ambitions seem both audacious and perilous. Clyde's recent discussions with various underworld associates have hinted at a meticulous plan, he believes that by leveraging both his criminal connections and his underestimation by the Demera family, he can manipulate circumstances to his advantage. His charm belies a cunning mind, and as he makes alliances, 
it's clear he is playing a long game. Every empire has its vulnerabilities. Clyde mused to a close confidant, his voice low and conspiratorial. And the Demaris? They're no exception. The conversation lingered in the air, a heavy foreboding of the chaos that might ensue. Clyde's relentless pursuit of wealth and power is sure to clash with the Demera legacy, igniting a battle that could upend the balance of power in Salem. Asterisk, asterisk, Mark and Abby. A mother's threat looms asterisk, asterisk. Meanwhile, the tension in Salem takes a darker turn as Abby Deveroff finds herself embroiled in a chilling predicament. Her partner, Mark, has become a pawn in a dangerous game played by his estranged mother a figure who has emerged from the shadows with a sinister agenda. The mother, whose manipulative tendencies are matched only by her cunning, threatens to expose secrets that could shatter Mark's world. Abby, ever the protector, steps into the fray with unwavering resolve. I won't let her destroy you, she declares fiercely, her determination as sharp as the knife that glints on the table beside her. She is willing to fight for Mark, but the stakes are high and the threat looming over them feels insurmountable. The mother's arrival has rattled not just Mark, but the entire community, as whispers of her past and the shadows she casts begin to circulate. A series of confrontations unfold, each more charged than the last. Abby finds herself torn between defending Mark and grappling with the repercussions of revealing her own dark secrets, which could complicate their lives even further. Asterisk, asterisk, power struggles and unexpected alliances, asterisk, asterisk. As these parallel plots unfold, the intricate tapestry of relationships in Salem grows even more complex. The intertwining destinies of Clyde, Abby, and Mark weave together against a backdrop of betrayal, ambition, and love. Clyde's aggressive maneuvering for the Demera fortune catches the attention of several key players, including Gabby Hernandez who is no stranger to the ruthless world of corporate power plays. Clyde doesn't know who he's dealing with, Gaby smirks, a knowing look in her eyes as she contemplates her next move. She has her own designs on the Demera Empire and sees Clyde's ambitions as both an opportunity and a threat. As the stakes rise, she prepares to outmaneuver him, her sharp intellect making her a formidable adversary. Meanwhile, in the background, other characters are feeling the ripple effects of these unfolding dramas. Characters like Rafe and Nicole, always on the lookout for signs of trouble, begin to connect the dots. They know that when ambition and desperation collide, chaos is sure to follow. Asterisk, asterisk, a looming showdown, asterisk, asterisk. As the day unfolds, the tension builds toward an inevitable confrontation. Clyde, growing more brazen in his efforts, decides to pay a visit to the Demera mansion, believing that making an appearance will solidify his position among the elite. However, he is unaware that Abby has taken matters into her own hands regarding Mark's mother, setting the stage for a collision of forces. Abby, resolved to protect her loved ones, finds herself at a crossroads. I need to confront her before she can make a move, she tells Mark, her voice laced with urgency. As she prepares for what could be an explosive confrontation, she also knows she must tread carefully, for the stakes are not just her relationship with Mark, but their very lives. Asterisk, asterisk, the climax approaches, asterisk, asterisk. As evening falls in Salem, the air is thick with anticipation. Clyde's impending arrival at the Dimmera mansion creates an electric atmosphere, a fusion of dread and excitement. Everyone senses that the walls are closing in, and the clash of ambition and love is about to ignite. Mark, meanwhile, feels the weight of his mother's threats bearing down on him. He stands by Abby, their hands clasped tightly, a silent bow of solidarity amidst the storm. Whatever happens, we'll face it together, he assures her, his eyes reflecting both fear and resolve. As the clock ticks down to the inevitable showdown, Viewers are left on the edge of their seats, wondering how the intertwining destinies of Clyde, Abby, and Mark will collide. Will Clyde's quest for power leave a trail of destruction in its wake?